Hey lovelies, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It is that time of year again. When we start to reflect on our past year, 2023, we also start to reflect on what we have or have not accomplished. Another thing we do around this time of the year is start preparing for the new year, 2024. And that's what I will be doing in today's video. I'll be reflecting on the past year and my goals from the last year. I will also be creating a physical vision board. Last year, my vision board was digital, so it was on my tablet and it was kind of small, but this year I wanted to do a physical one so I can actually hang up in my room. And I will be giving you guys tips on how to stay motivated like throughout the whole year and how to actually finish and complete the goals that you've set for yourself so yeah without further ado let's get right into today's video so the first step of preparing for the new year will be the reflection portion of this video okay lovely so i have my notebook right here it's literally this black notebook and i wrote down my goals for 2023 last year the goals i wrote down they were very kind of basic goals uh, so this year i'm gonna try to change that and another thing, I could not find my vision board that I had digitally. I think I might have accidentally deleted it or something like that because it's literally nowhere to be found. So I can't even look at it and then show you guys how it looked and the things that were on there. I remember some things that were on there and it was like starting my business, which I did, um, working out, which I did a little bit of, and I had traveling, going to a concert, which I did do, and I did travel a little this year. That was really all that was on there. So I accomplished some things and some things I didn't. We're going to look at these goals and I'm going to reflect on what I did and what I didn't do this year. So how I did it last year is I had a primary goal and a secondary goal. So my primary goal was get healthier physically and create healthy habits which is so basic and so like common that I don't even know what healthy habits like I was supposed to create because I didn't write it down. I basically just wrote like the most basic part of the goal. So with my videos I did I started posting a lot more towards the middle of the year because I wanted to give you guys guys like more videos i also started posting shorts regularly as far as painting did not start painting this year now on to my secondary goals for my first secondary goal i had get my driver's license which i did i got my driver's license that doesn't mean i started driving all the way yet but i did get my driver's license this year and my next secondary goal was to work out two to three times a week um in the beginning of the year i was working out two to three times a week because we had more time to go to the gym but now i just have not been going to the gym and having time to go to Gym. Okay, now that we have reflected on 2023 and we have in our minds what we want to do for this year or what we don't want to do for this year, I want you guys to get some form of paper and we're going to be creating new goals for the 2024 year. But before you start writing down anything or just scribbling down goals off the top of your head, I want you guys to create categories for your goals first. That could be like spiritual, financial, social media if you are an influencer and you want goes for that as well i think you guys should create categories first and then once we have finished with all the categories we're going to write specific very very specific goals for each category you can have like two to three goals or two to four goals or however many goals that you want for each category we're going to be creating very specific very intentional goals for 2024 so that we can actually complete them and we have something to go by throughout this rest of this year Okay, Lily, so now that I have my categories, my categories are financial, health, spiritual, travel, business, YouTube, miscellaneous goals that I just want to complete this year. So this is how I set it up. I have it right here. Now I'm going to just add a few goals, intentional goals to each section and actually be specific with what I want to accomplish so I can follow these things throughout the year and I won't get like lost or forget what I said I was going to do.
Okay, Lilies, now that we have created all of our goals, I wrote like from two to four goals for each category. I really want you guys to complete this with me. It will help you really figure out what you want to accomplish this upcoming year. And it just makes you put all your thoughts out on paper. So anytime that you're lost or you feel like you don't know what you're supposed to be doing, you can always go back and then start from there. One thing I want to talk to you guys about is that something that my dad told me about like two or three weeks ago that really stuck with me. He said that people want to change things, but they don't do the actions to change them. You kind of want things to change and you, some people may think that they're actually doing the actions, but they're basically doing the same thing that they've been doing over and over again. So nothing's changing. With that being said, I want you guys to take risks this year and actually get out of your comfort zone. How do you know something else is out there for you if you're basically doing the same things all the time, every day? So yeah, I just wanted to give you guys that little advice. Stay consistent, take risks, and get out of your comfort zone this year. And now we're going to be moving on to routines and just creating routines for ourselves that we can actually follow and that are realistic for the rest of the year. It takes 21 days to make a habit. I'm trying to make some new habits this year and I'm trying to make some better habits this year. So we will be creating a morning routine, a night routine, an afternoon routine. I will hop on Notion with you guys and we will be creating and writing down everything that we need to do. And I will be basing this morning routine off of me going to school. So I start school literally tomorrow. Now I'm gonna create a little table. We're gonna start our day at 5.20. 5.20 a.m. And then we're going to do from 5.20 a.m. And now I'm gonna do six. So I'm just going to type in everything and I'll get back to you guys once I am finished. Hey love you. so as you can see, I am finished. I changed the two routines and I think I'm gonna change this to another picture, maybe a star, just for right now at least. But I have changed it to routines so I have, so I can just have all my routines in one spot instead of having to click through each page. But we're gonna do, we have morning, afternoon, and night routine. Okay guys, so that was it for the routine portion of this video. Now we're going to move on to my phone and I'm going to be taking you guys with me to create quarterly reminders for my goals that I've set for myself for this year. Okay, love you, so I'm going to put my phone screen up here on the side of me right here. Okay, love you, so I have my phone screen right here and I'm going to be showing you guys everything that I'm going to be doing in my reminders and how you can set up a reminder yourself. So I'm going to go to reminders in my apps and I haven't been on here. I don't normally set reminders, but this year I want to start setting reminders so I can actually do the things that I want to do. We're going to do add a new list and we're going to name this 2024 goals. I'm going to put it pink because I love the pink and then we're going to change the little icon. Okay so now they have 2024 goals in there. I'm going to take the goals that I have and take those and I'm going to put a reminder for each subcategory. So for the first one we're going to do financial. One of my goals was to save $2,000 this year and then for the note we're going to do go on our $1,000 envelope challenge so you have finance and then we're gonna change the times every three months we're gonna say March the 11th we will check back and see how far we've gotten I have to count how many envelopes that are in like the whole thing as a whole so I can split them up evenly throughout the months but yeah so for that we will be checking so I have that checked for 3 11 24 and that is our first finance goal and I'm just gonna be doing the same thing with my health spiritual travel business YouTube and just making the same like quarterly reminders so I'll get back to you guys once we are finished with all of these reminders and I'm gonna show you guys what I have okay love this so I have all my goals here I'm gonna set them right here and yeah we have finance health spiritual travel business YouTube oh my gosh um as I was saying, we have finance, health, spiritual, travel, business, YouTube, fitness, and miscellaneous. You see, I have like in the notes part of the reminders, I have like the questions that I want to ask myself and reflect on every three months in the little notes part. Yeah, and I just have that for each goal. So when that month comes, when the time comes for me to look back on this, I know what to ask myself and ask myself, have I actually been doing the things that I need to be doing? Yeah, I just have it set for every three months in the first month 
month is March 11, 2024. After that, it's going to be going for every three months. That was it for our little reminders and me setting up my routine and my reminders for my quarterly goals that I want to check up on and make sure that I'm doing correctly. And that's pretty much all I have for this section of the video. I'll get back to you guys when I'm on my way to go get the stuff for the vision board so I can create it with you guys and just have that whole process. Okay, lovelies. So we are now onto the vision board part of this video. It is now like two days from the last clip that you guys just saw. We are going to be now putting together our vision board. So the things that you will need, obviously, are a board of some type, poster board. Um, you can get a canvas if you want to. That's what I was going to use originally, but I decided not to do it because it was kind of small. Some glue, tape, or anything of that sort. The last thing that you'll need is some pictures. Okay, love it. So I have my board right here. You guys won't be able to see my face, but you will be able to see my hands and me actually putting up the pictures on the board. Here are all my pictures and I'm going to sort them out in categories. So I'm going to have my financial, business, health, YouTube, spiritual, miscellaneous, fitness, and travel. I'm going to put them all into those categories and then we will set up where we want to put them on the board. Okay, love it. So now that I have all of my pictures in categories, now we're going to set our board up. First, we're going to start off with traveling. So I'm going to take all the traveling pictures I have and then we're going to arrange them how I want to. Okay, we have the traveling in one area. So I have set up everything how I want it to look. It doesn't look too cluttered. It does have some white spots like from the background. That is just fine with me. Honestly, I don't want it to look too perfect. I like it just how it is right now. It looks really cute. So now, first things first, we're going to take our glue that we have. I just have some Elmer's school glue. And that on each of the photos, we're going to go from the bottom up. Okay, lovely. So we have now finished our vision board. I'm going to show you guys in three, two, one. It looks so cute. I love it. And there's a poster. And I'll also insert a picture here. This is how it looks. It looks so cute. I love it so much. I'm really glad I made this physical vision board. It's really going to help me vision everything that I want to accomplish this year and help me stay on track. So if you guys haven't made a vision board, I know it's a little late into January. It's already about to be January 11th. It's my birthday tomorrow, but it's never too late to start trying to better yourself throughout the year. It's, even though it's just January 10th today, it's still good that I'm doing this and I'm making progress trying to become a better version of myself. So, so if you guys haven't already, I really, really recommend you set your goals for this year, how I told you guys in the previous clips of this video, and then make yourself a vision board because it really will help you manifest and envision how your life can change in 2024. Okay, lovely. So for the last portion of today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys five tips on how to basically be a, your better self this year and stay on track with what you obviously have made your vision board, your goals, and all that stuff. Let's get into the first tip. If you see me looking down I have my phone in my hand where I wrote down all the tips and stuff and keep in mind these tips I will also be trying to do this year I really want to make 2024 like the best year before I go off to college and I really want to work on myself so the first tip I have for you guys is please 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 stick to your routines in the earlier clips of this video I made routines for myself for morning afternoon and night and I plan to stick to those routines it's okay if you have to tweak 
tweak the routines as your weeks go by that's totally fine keep in the necessities that you want to have done like every day the second tip is being productive without motivation because obviously we can't stay motivated 24 7 365 days a year there's going to be some days where we don't feel like we're doing good enough or we don't feel like we know what we're doing per se so this is where discipline comes in and really takes place in your life even if you don't feel like i don't know getting up in the morning and working out or doing a stretch and you said that you were going to do it think about the results and the process and the effort you're putting in to get to those results by doing that routine or doing that workout or doing that habit that you're trying to set for yourself so i just wanted to say just stay disciplined and it's okay if you have off days like everybody has off days like that's fine make sure you get back on to your schedule and the things that you want to do this year the next tip i have for you guys is to stay in a clean environment i know it can be hard going throughout the week and actually picking up after yourself when you're so busy with school work other hobbies and things like that other businesses on the side that you may have but it's really really important to keep your environment and your room clean this is something that i want to work on this year i want to have like maybe 10 minutes a day where i just tidy up my room before i go to bed so then the next day it's kind of basically fresh and clean so the next day i can actually have a clear mind and don't have to worry about waking up to a very cluttered and messy room the fourth tip i have for you guys is to try things out of your comfort zone i'm not very comfortable with painting that's something this year that i will be working on is painting more and actually expressing myself on the canvas um i want you guys to actually try that thing and actually see if you're good at it or not and even if you're not you can always practice to be better at it the fifth tip i have for you guys is to get out of like toxic friendships relationships and stuff like that because it's really going to drain you mentally and this can be anybody it can be friends family relationships if you feel like they give off a very negative and toxic vibe or they're always downplaying the things that you do that are really well or anything like that you should really just cut them out of your circle so that you won't mentally drain yourself because there's no point in creating all of these goals and these vision boards you don't have people to actually genuinely support you and want to see you get better in life and want to get better in life with you okay lovelies so we have come to the end of today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it and happy new year's guys and this is the first video of this year so i hope you guys really enjoyed this video and you took something from it and, and it helped motivate you for this 2024 year and everything that you want to do in it and all of the goals that you want to accomplish comment down below if you have any more video ideas and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in the next video bye